What's poppin'? It's your boy Mike Powers again. Thank you for clicking the video. Um, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I said I wasn't gonna do no more. Not really no more, but I wasn't gonna keep on doing Griselda reactions. I did not want that camp, uh, Shady, Griselda, Westside, all these guys to think I'm just using their music to try to get popular. I ain't want to do that. I got other things in the bag, but folks is telling me they'd like the reactions and some new stuff just happened. I was uh, on my phone today and I saw that they're about to drop a Griselda album on Shady Records. I guess everybody's going to be on it. Raekwon is a guest feature on this motherfucker. First song, the intro, Raekwon. Go check out that track listing. Online, I should show it to you right now, but it, it took me so long just to get everything set up to to bring you this. My girl tell me, uh, you about to be the the authority on this East Coast hip hop shit. She says, so you got to bring the real shit to the people. Now, I'm having a problem with Griselda right now. And the problem I'm having with, with Griselda, Griselda, please stop releasing so much fucking music. And I don't say that to, to denigrate anybody. Listen, when I go on YouTube and I'm on YouTube every night, I'm seeing five or six Griselda videos from multiple artists, three, four videos a week. Some of these dudes is dropping a piece. And some of these dudes, I don't even know if y'all with Griselda or not. I just know that it's a video, West Side, Benny in it, whatever. And some other dude has showed up and he's spitting fire. Dude I never heard of. Like, uh, that's how I got on the 38 Spence. I didn't know who 38 was. All of a sudden, here he go. I'm like, damn. And some of these dudes, I don't even know if they're Griselda or not. So I get upset because I don't like being behind on the movement like that. Right now, I'm behind. I cannot catch up with y'all motherfuckers. I can't. Slow down. Let me get up in here and study y'all live and breathe. <laughs> Let me catch up with the catalog. Like when Nas first dropped, believe me when I tell you, I ain't miss nothing that dude did. I was on top of it. I was the one bringing it to the streets, telling my niggas, check this shit out quickly. Now, the movement of Griselda is so vicious right now. Dudes that I talk to out in the street, out in public, they ain't know nothing about Benny six months ago. I'm listening to some music on my phone today. Dude walked up to me. What you listening to? I was listening to uh, Crowns for Kings, Benny's verse. Black, it's, listen, there's a video online. I think it's called Live Sessions. Go watch that video. I might fucking link it. It's just Benny in a room doing it live. The first verse of Crowns for Kings shit and he tore it up black thoughts not on it but but benny tore this motherfucker up and so the movement is so fire right now that while i'm listening to this shit this dude that didn't know about benny six months ago he like what you listen to i'm like benny crown so he's like yeah i know who benny is damn it's like that y'all motherfuckers trying to catch up the talent is undeniable. That's why when the real shit come, you can't deny it when they put it in your face. That's why I'm always out like, yo, check the shit out. Listen to this. Listen to Joe Pesci 38. Listen to five to 50. Listen to India. Listen to intro with uh 38 special. <laughs> Listen to <laughs> Listen to uh, um, AZ <laughs> and 38 special honest truth. Is your ears broke? <laughs> Cause if you don't hear that, I'm going on a tangent. Oh my God. If you can't hear that, don't talk to me about fucking rap. Quit, quit fucking with me. So the movement is big and let me shout out a couple subscribers, man. Y'all cats is rocking with me. Much love for anybody that subscribed, anybody click this video, anybody that comment, much love, and I'm going to be continue to shout out subscribers. I'm going to keep on doing it. At some point, we're going to be so big as a community, I won't be able to shout out everybody. So this shit right here is special. This moment in time where we at right now. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Real talk, man. 
Jonah Jones, Jonah Jones, Jonah Jones. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for the subscribe, bud. Um, I think I said, bro, Robert D'Amico, Robert D'Amico, much love to you. And Robert was one of these dudes. And I said, I'm going to stop doing so much Griselda. I want to move on to other stuff. Y'all saw I, I got with the Freddie Gibbs thing. I got something new coming up that y'all not going to expect. Believe me when I tell you, I got something y'all didn't see coming just because y'all got me on Griselda so fucking much. But on the heels of this track listing coming out for this new Griselda album and Post Malone winning the AMA for best rap album. Yes, you damn right. We about to react to some Griselda. Thanks to Robert D'Amico, who requested I do dead bodies left guess what that shit's coming up next all right let's get this thing popping um full disclosure right before i hit record on this i did hear a little piece of the beat at the beginning of the song and it was one of them beats sometimes i hear a beat and i like the artist but i don't like the beat right off the bat it's just not my style for some reason i'm not saying this beat is or isn't i'm just some beats is like that um so this beat i hear it and i go oh i don't know but that don't mean i'm not gonna like the song the beat might have to grow on me or this might be one of them joints i just don't like the beat at all and i don't even like the song because of it i don't know um but let's check this out together uh, if an ad pop up, I hope it don't. Or if this motherfucker freeze up on me in the middle, I hope not. Rock with me. And I'm going to try to maybe pause this motherfucker so I don't get struck. I'm, we're going to try to do the 30 second thing here. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. You know how I go, nigga. This is an introduction. Something special was about to happen. I told y'all. I said it was getting spooky, right? Right. Machine, bitch. My name on the legendary level. Cause the flow was exceptionally special. VS Scott. All right, y'all. It probably had a little echo right there. My bad. I'm starting to do the mute game. One day you might catch me with the headphones on because I think it worked better. I'm just not ready to rock with headphones. I got them. I just don't feel like rocking with them right now. Um. I like the beginning, the beat, and I hate the pause right now because I just like to keep the continuity going, but fuck it, we trying something right now because I'm sick of these dudes hitting me with copyright. All right, let's go. Well, the necessary bezel, drop the bag and kill the tone. He was definitely wet in the rain. Yeah, that's just a loose change, though. I'm comfortable on the same blocks where you can't post. And lately, I've been flowing like I ain't too sane, though. Race to the top, watch me turn in the Usain boat. Whoa, we kept it behind me. Now these niggas trying to jump on my cool lane. The only difference is you ain't dope. Behind the tents on the Usain, my new chain glow. And every nigga in my crew ain't broke, yo. I swear I used to move cane when Penny was calling so I'm about to keep messing this up, obviously. Um, check one, check one. Dude is nasty. Dude is nasty. And I like the beat now. That's what great artists do. They take a regular beat, some drums, whatever. They get on it and they be the music on it. Fuck out of here. I'm about to mute this joint and be going back in. This was a few years before 2 chains. No disrespect to 2 chains, though I'm just spitting the facts So when niggas listen They can't say the truth Ain't spoke Shot in my head, homie But I'm rapping like I got a new brain Plus, I get the kind of money You can't grow The mighty GXF Screaming till I no longer breathe a breath Get you hit with three in chest For a key or less Raising your face Take a piece of flesh They want me on freshman cover But I'm a seasoned vet Yeah yeah, they want me on the freshman cover, but I'm a seasoned vet. Quit playing with the boy. <laughs> Telling you that real life shit. No, I'm not fucking around with these freshmen. I've been doing this. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Conway killing it right now. I'm liking the song so far. Is there a feature on this thing? I don't know. Let's find out. I know niggas hated to see me progress That my new album made Interscope want to reinvest yeah. You see I'm back talking arrogant My brother got a problem with niggas, I'm taking care of it Road to success in the bins and West is steering it I'm in the passenger seat airing shit I swear it, that's my word to the letters on back of my shirt in Arabic Told you when I dropped reject, you better cherish it Yo, 
I told you I'm going to keep messing this up. We're going to get it together. Though. Hey, he just dropped his line about, I didn't know about the hoodies. Um, I saw this one dude. What's the dude's name? I can't remember the dude's name, but I'm gonna, we're going to rock out to the dude one day. He knew underground. I saw him wearing a, a hoodie at 187 on the back, big letters, and some Arabic writing above 187. And I was looking for a, a Conway picture today. And I saw that they selling these hoodies. I'm like, oh, that's a thing now. There's what I thought in my head when I saw the hoodie. I like that he dropped that line about the hoodie with the Arabic on it. We go maybe go back and listen to it. I might click it back. But here's what I think about the hoodies. I'm like, yo, what if these motherfuckers know that they so thorough, that everything they say is so real? Because in my opinion, they be spitting real shit. I'm talking real shit. That's the way I feel about the camp. You can feel how you want to feel about them. That's my impression. They real as fuck. What if they like, our people rock with us so tough. They don't even know. They don't even need to know what the Arabic say on it. They just know it's probably some thoroughbred shit. And what if that thoroughbred Arabic ass right? It means something real fucking thorough. Sick marketing. If that's what they doing, I don't know. Somebody, if you know what the Arabic mean, the top of the 187, put that shit in the comment section. Let's fire this bitch back up. Might bust down the rollie with double digit kerosene. They know this kind of flow, they can't compare to it. Got my bitch cross side at the queue, watching LeBron kill the swerves. I ain't in the first, but got the chinchilla, his and hers. One of the illest pinning words that you niggas heard. Every bar dope, equivalent to the shit I serve. Head on collision with death, homie, I didn't swerve. If this rap shit don't work, I can go get a bird. Number one question they ask is go drop the next. Mural was sitting in Australia and I ain't dropping yet. When I got shot in my neck, I told them I was next. They thought I was bugging, now they giving me my respect. Old bitches say I'm Hollywood since I got a check. Niggas favorite rappers, I got a check. Second most question I get asked is why Hot 97 ain't had me body flex. Yeah, probably cause I'm a threat. My I bet you I just went over 30 seconds. I'm real with this shit. Like, I love the music so I don't like disrespecting the motherfucker about cutting him off. This nigga's fire. What can I tell you? You hear the shit just like I hear the shit. You, you know where we at with this? Fire. This camp right now. <laughs> These lyrics, 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 lyrics. When you look at the the promo video, uh, I think it's for the release of this album. There's a promo video. You hear Conway say, and you hear him say this all the time. I didn't go in there and write nothing. I just, in this video, he said, I just lit a blunt. And it's like he said, I laid down five songs in a day or some stupid shit like that. Didn't write nothing down. Niggas crazy. Much respect to Conway. This song go hard as fuck. Knock down a building like one of Osama Jets Run through every rabbit till ain't nobody left Give them the drum till ain't nothing in the shoddy left Nothing but fucking dead bodies left Machine You know what's up, nigga? Like that, push that, push that New at 11, new details about one of the most notorious drug dealers, Griselda Blanco, killed anyone who got in her way. He had actually been chasing the ghost of Griselda for a decade. Griselda never showed on the, the radar. Name was mentioned, but was never physically seen by... Robert D'Amico, thank you, bro. Thank you. It's going on the phone. It's going in rotation. I got a new folder on my phone, just say East Coast. So everything new, I'm putting right in that folder. And uh, there's so much other music. I listen to a lot of different stuff, for real. Like, uh, fuck with the Prince. Uh, I fuck with some Nirvana. <laughs> My girl said, don't tell him that. I'll fuck with some Phil Collins. I'll just fuck with some R.E.M. Uh, fuck with some Anita Baker, Luther Vandross. Uh, Donnell Jones, Stephanie Mills. Um, Khaled, Khalid, however you say the guy's name, I fucks with him, LMA. I listen to a lot of different stuff, but that East Coast folder everywhere I ride now, so I'm not getting to listen to none of my other music. My influences, they fading away slowly because of this Griselda shit and also the shit that Rock Marciano was doing out here. 
Don't sleep on rock either. Robert D'Amico, thank you. That shit was a banger. I'm telling you that I got something coming up in the next couple days that you're not expecting. I'm not saying I'm going to tell you where Jimmy Hoffa's buried or something like that. I'm just saying you're going to see you're going to be like, oh man, for real, you doing this? Yes, I'm about to do that. And somebody told me to react to Benny Spurs one and two. I don't believe I've gotten to that yet, so I'm going to get to that too. It's a lot more things coming up. And after we go through another reaction uh, and this special thing that I'm about to bring y'all, I'm going to give you a hint. It's an artist spotlight. So I'm going to tell you. And you're not going to be able to guess who it is. But guess in the comment section. I bet you won't guess it. But after that, then I'm going to go into some other shit that's got something to do with some reactions. Um, I'm not going to be on reactions all the damn time. We already talked about that. We know that y'all love the reactions. Maybe some of y'all that's watching my reactions, y'all not rocking with the other stuff. That's cool. If it ain't your cup of tea, I'm trying to be broad with the shit. This hip hop thing is really me. So I'm cool in this space. This lyrical shit, this New York shit, this East Coast shit is really in my space. Even though I listen to all kind of hip hop, we're we going to get to that in future shows. I really do this. So it's not such a burden for me to keep on coming back and doing reactions. Sometimes I feel like people just do reactions so they can get views. And what you're looking at here is a full personality, my dudes and ladies. You're not looking at a one trick pony. So that's not what the channel's going to be. But these dudes done drop so much fire. It's a perfect fucking storm that I'm on this shit. And they brought me a catalog bricks that I could just dive into. And that's why y'all keep coming out the woodwork. Like do this one, do that one, do that one. Some of them I heard and I'd be like, you already heard that. I can't react to it, but we might rock to it on air. A lot of these I have not heard. So we, I love it. Y'all turning me on to shit. Like I like to turn people on to shit. I like to get turned on to stuff. So don't flood the comments with do this, do this, Benny, do this, Griselda. Do. But if that's what y'all want to do, if that's what you really want, ask me for it. We'll see if I can get that in for you. Uh, thanks for clicking this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Mike Powers and I'm out.